2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people, are you his people? So he's speaking to us, which are called by my name, shall do this. They shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn. Turn. I say that turn. That means repent. Turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, and I will watch it. I will forgive their sins and sin, and I will heal their land. Now mine eyes shall be open, and my ears attend unto the prayers that is made in this place. I'm going to say it again so we all get in our spirit. Let's do this. You ready? Left hand. You ready? Come on. It's natural, spiritual. Get it again. Natural, spiritual. So everything that happens in the natural is going to manifest in the spirit. I've been preaching now August the 9th. Are you listening to me? August the 9th. It will be 50 years that I've been preaching the gospel. 50, I know I don't look that old, come on somebody. But I started preaching when I was 13 years old and for August 9th will be 50 years. And I've gone back and forth, back and forth with this scripture that is it the spirit or is it the supernatural or is it the natural? And as we enter into a season, hear me, everybody, listen to me, especially those of you at home, quit watching the news and listen to what I'm saying. As we enter this season where we have COVID-19 and we have Black Lives Matter, people always say right now, especially those that don't want to hear Black Lives Matter, this is going to be controversial, but I'm big enough to take it. Hear what I'm saying. People that don't want to hear Black Lives Matter, you got to get used to it because there's a new move of God in this, in this nation that's going to actually penetrate the world that's going to bring racial reconciliation, like it or not. And for the first time, we are seeing God move in an unprecedented fashion. If you believe that, give God a praise in this place. But people that are afraid to say black lives matter, even some of our white people, oh, Lord, no, don't go there again. Well, hear what I'm saying, and I said it at, at the beginning of the services, we can't say all lives matter. Yes, listen to me, all lives do matter. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, everybody say whosoever believeth that him should not perish but have everlasting life that means black white rich poor young old fat skinny i don't care where you are god loves you if you are whosoever but right now this movement that we are seeing come on and help me somebody is black lives matter everybody shout it black lives matter are you with me and that's what we're seeing so we could say this and let me give you an analogy if we had a mole on us and it was, became melanoma, God forbid, we would treat the melanoma. We wouldn't treat the colon or the pancreas because the melanoma is right there and we need to treat that and then we can treat the rest of the body. Wave your hand if you're with me, if you're with me. So when people say all lives matter, yes, we understand this. How many believe this is going to be controversial? And hey, we're going to get everybody's attention today. Don't you turn me off. You listen to what I'm saying because i got a word for you. Yes, all lives matter. But what we're doing, God right now is focusing us on what's been happening for hundreds of years. Hundreds of years. And that's prejudice and racism. Now you might say, you're a white guy preaching this. Well, let me help you. For 50 years in the ministry, I've been preaching this. This is not something new to me that black lives matter. I don't do it because it's a great platform to preach from. This is a call that I've had since I've been a little boy. Are you hearing me? Since I've been a little boy, God has always called me to reconcile all races. 
We can't just focus, oh, Jesus, help me. We just can't focus on white man or the Indian or the Asian or the black man. But right now, this movement that we are seeing, it's a movement. I said it's a movement. Yes, we have some rebels that burn down buildings. Here we go, dear Jesus. And yes, we have people that riot. And isn't it interesting that the media always focuses on that? They always focus on what young black men or women are doing and they show burning down the buildings and shooting people, etc. Come on, help me somebody. But they never show you all the good that is happening around the world. For the first time in my life, and I'm 62 years old, and I marched during the Vietnam War. I protest during the Vietnam War, so I know what protest is all about. And I've protested in Tampa, so I know what protest is all about. And protest is healthy. And we live in the United, I don't care if you say amen or oh me, but we live in the United States of America today where we have the right for free speech. We have that right, but men and women have given their lives so that we can protest, but we don't have to protest where we have to uh, tear down our buildings, burn down our buildings, and let the media focus on that. Let the media begin to focus on racial reconciliation. And for the first time in 62 years, I have never seen a movement like I'm seeing a movement now. Because it's not just black, help me somebody. You know, we get confused. First we said it was colored. Oh, I'm going to go here today, dear God. Don't write to me, write to somebody else. Write to Pastor Carpenter. First, it was, you got to use the word color. Then you have to use the word African American. And then you have to use the word black. Listen, we cannot always be politically correct. And right now, the movement, help me, Virginia, the movement right now is Black Lives Matter. We can't say African American Lives Matter. We're saying the movement is Amen. Now, I know some of my white people are getting ready to turn me off. Don't you turn me off yet, because I've got a word for everybody in this house. Shout amen. And for the first time, I've seen us all come together. And this movement that we're seeing is brothers and sisters come together, march down Constitution Avenue march in front of the White House, come on somebody, and saying, we matter, we make a difference. Something clicked in the natural. Hear me everybody, hear what I'm saying. Something snapped, something happened, something got God's attention. Somewhere, if I can use this, and please don't get mad at me, somewhere God got pissed off. And God said, it's enough. God said, I've had enough. And what happens in the natural is now going to manifest into the spiritual. Where the young and old are coming together. Young men, black men, and young people white men are coming together and if it's happening oh help me holy ghost if it's happening bishop carpenter pastor carpenter if it's happening in the natural where black and white are coming together guess what's about to happen in the church world we are finally going to wake up and recognize that it's not a white church or a black church or a brown church but it's the church of jesus christ Hallelujah, we're all washed in the same blood of Jesus Christ. Give him a praise if you believe that.